everybody. It is uh, almost like 1040. I've been waiting for a meeting for the past five minutes. Nobody showed up. So I thought I'd pick up the camera for a second. And uh, I didn't pick up the camera yesterday at all. It was a really busy day. Um, pretty long day. And Lily and I were exhausted. Um, I went to bed at 9 o'clock. I usually go to bed at like midnight. So I went to bed at 9 and it was a pretty restless sleep. I had really restless sleep the night before too. I had really bad uh, stomach acid. Um, I've been taking some medicine for that, so hopefully that'll help. Um, but I haven't had like this type of uh, reaction to I don't know what I had to eat or what happened, but I haven't had this reaction in a long time. So it was it was pretty bad. It was it was burning. And I would wake up every hour and I would take it one tum because I didn't want to like. You can take too many Tums, and you're not supposed to take Tums on the medicine that I'm on, but I needed to relieve some of it. Um, so next time I'll probably just do like half, but still, like, it was pretty bad. <laughs> so we, I was tired yesterday, so that made, made me really tired yesterday, not getting a lot of sleep. Lily didn't, I don't know what uh, was going on with Lily. She wasn't really feeling it either. So yeah, we didn't pick the camera up, and uh, <laughs> it was basically just work, a work day. Um, so yeah, we're just, uh, waiting for this meeting to start, and when it was all curled up, one thing we did get yesterday, I'll run over here quick, is we got snow. It's not the first snowfall we've gotten, but enough to freeze up our driveway again. The biggest thing that happens at our house every year is the driveway freezes. Every year every year and so we've been working on trying to figure out what to do to prevent that i think they just came around with plows to kind of fix it but they didn't no they didn't fix it as you saw in my video i think they uh i think they did the 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 guest parking though so that should be fixed without ice but not our driveway that's kind of stinks so i'm gonna keep waiting for this person to show up and uh Maybe we will see you later. I don't know. All right, so I had a, I had one of my students miss meeting because of the internet. And that is something that we have been having trouble with here at our house is the internet has not been very kind to us. It hasn't been working very well. Um, I don't know what is going on. I fixed it this morning. I When I did a troubleshoot on my computer, it said that a wire was loose. So I went over to my router and I kind of wiggled the wires around a little bit. And for some reason it started working. So I don't know if it is actually a connection over here or if my computer is just saying that because it didn't connect to the internet because sometimes because there are no wires connected to the computer. Um, so I have to go over that and check that out. We thought it was a wire outside because whenever it snows or rains, we get interference in our Comcast. So the only thing I can think of would be an exposed wire because it obviously isn't using like, it's not using satellite stuff. So, yeah. All right. Hopefully uh, my next student shows up and uh, we can get started on our, my, I can get started on the next thing with them. Uh, but yeah, it's been quite the, quite the morning just fighting with the internet. I had literally had to watch my, or be yeah, on my first few calls on my phone because I had to use my wife, my internet on my phone. And, uh, yeah, then I got this working, so it didn't work at all yesterday, so I was, yeah, working from somewhere else, so. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Hopefully today will get better, and the internet will keep working, because I need the internet to do my job. <laughs> so, something that might be a little interesting to some people, so I've started working out a little bit. I've also started taking vitamins, so this is a multivitamin. Um... So this one is from Costco. It's a Kirkland multivitamin. Uh, it does not have enough vitamin D in it. So I do take another uh, vitamin D and I take some fish oil. These are um, fish oil pearls. So they're smaller and easier to take. Otherwise, the uh, other fish oils are even bigger than this pill right here. So that's what I take every morning or I started taking every morning. And I feel so much better, especially with like the vitamin D, especially... <clears throat> vitamin D, especially for Minnesota. Minnesotans, we don't get a lot of vitamin D. So I think the vitamin D is a very, very good thing for people to take, especially right now during coronavirus. Um, just helps with your mood too. 
it increases it increases my mood a little bit um i don't know if that's just just uh my mind or whatever but it helps me so <laughs> All right, guys, I am thawing some lunch. This is something that Lily hates. I am thawing some salmon for lunch. I love salmon. Salmon is, like, my favorite fish. I don't eat a lot of fish, but when I do eat fish, it's either salmon or mahi-mahi. Um, and I've got a couple of fillets here that I'm going to cook up for lunch. And I usually make this when Lily is not home because she hates the smell of fish. She hates it. So, uh, Leo should be getting up here soon. Uh, probably within the next 10 minutes. I have a meeting here in the next two minutes. So I'm going to be jumping on and, and hanging out with that kid for a little bit. Luckily, that one is a very short meeting. Uh, we usually, I mean, it's usually like 10, 15 minutes long. So by that time, that's done. By the time the, the meeting's done, my fish should be thawed, and I should be able to throw it in and bake it. Um, and then uh, by my next meeting, I should be able to eat before my next meeting. It only takes like 8 minutes to finish cooking, 8 to 12 minutes. So I'll do that, and then we can get on with our day. I should be almost done with my meetings. I think these are my last couple of meetings for the day. I think I have one at 2 o'clock, and I have one at 2.30, yeah. So I have two hours of meetings, or yeah, two hours of meetings left. So four meetings, technically, um, or no, three meetings, three meetings, because I have one from now, and then we usually only take 15 minutes, but sometimes it takes longer, and then my last two, I have like a little bit of a break for my next one, because my next one's only 15 minutes, but the whole half hour is blocked off, because usually we go over, but... Alrighty guys, I'm like, super excited for my fish. Alright, quick food lesson with Noah. I put tin foil down and I use olive oil cooking spray. Then I put the fish on the pan. That didn't work. And then what I do is I put a bunch of lemon juice on it. So we're gonna drip a bunch of lemon juice on here. Like how this one has some cracks in it so the lemon juice can actually get in there. So this is the first round of lemon juice. I actually do two rounds of lemon juice. I do one before and one after. And then when I, when I season, I like to keep it simple. I use freshly ground pepper and a freshly ground sea salt. So it ends up looking like that. Close up. And then I am preheating the oven for, I think 375. I cook it for 12 minutes. All right, so Leo is all done sleeping. So he had a bottle and nice had some cheese. So, like I said, after it comes out, this was 12, 13 minutes. It was a little bit more because I was on a call when the time, timer went off, so I let it go for a little bit longer. A little dried on the top, but the bottom is fine. I throw a little more lemon juice on here, probably six, seven drops. Um, and then that's it. That's how I make my salmon. Uh, if you guys have any other interesting ways, let me know in the comments below.